Welcome to this MuseScore tutorial on preparing a score for performance by a virtual ensemble. Here I have a piece that has been orchestrated by one of my students. Ordinarily, we would hand out parts to the performers, rehearse, and then record a performance. Due to COVID-19, we cannot play together in the same room, and so we've decided to record this piece as a virtual ensemble, which has become a popular method of making music together while apart pioneered by Eric Whitaker and his massive virtual choir project. Depending on the piece and how much time you have to organize this, there are some different options for how to proceed. But one thing that every virtual ensemble needs to get right is synchronization. If every performer simply decides on their own tempo, the recordings will never match up. Also, even if each performer plays at exactly the right tempo, the audio engineer will have a tough time matching up all of the different recordings because of different starting times or articulation differences. What we need is some definitive way of marking the start of the piece that puts everyone in the same time. Film crews use a clapperboard to do this because every microphone that is recording the scene will register a sharp spike in volume from the clap of the board, and the video shows what scene and take was recorded then. Then, in the editing phase, the engineer can line up all of the clap spikes and know that everything is synchronized from then on. We can't expect every performer to have a clapperboard, but everyone can clap, which will serve the same purpose. To make everything easier for ourselves and our performers, let's write the clap into the music so that it cannot be mistaken for anything else. So on this score, I'll press Insert, and I'm going to do it three times so that we've got three empty bars at the beginning. Now I'll create a new note in the second bar, the beginning of the second bar, let's make it a crotchet and a C, and this will be the place where everyone must clap. But that's not clear that it's clap, certainly not, so let's change that, let's open the inspector with F8, and we go to note, and I'll change the head group to a cross head. That looks more like a clap sound in traditional drum notation and choir notation as well. To make it even more clear, I'll add some text with Control T for a technique text, and I'll type clap. No one should be able to confuse that now. Now we can copy that to each of the other parts, adjusting the octave where needed. and we hopefully have a synchronized clap. But we need to make sure that this clap happens exactly together when people are listening to this track, so we need to create a metronome. We do have a metronome here, unfortunately that metronome in MuseScore is not exported when we do our export as mp3, so we'll have to write our own in. I'll use I for instruments and search for a woodblock. I'm going to add this to the bottom of the score. And we need to be clear that this is not going to be performed. This is just to keep us together. Then I'll use five for a crotchet and N for notes. And here are our options. We've just got A and B for the two different notes. So let's say that A is our first beat and B is the others. The easiest thing to do now is first go into continuous view and then click on the bar and R for repeat. Let's remove that with F8 and repeat this until the end of the piece. This is quite a short piece. Now when we play this back, the performers can hear a metronome, clap on the second bar, get ready to play, and then start playing. Also to make this clear, I'm going to change this bar line here to a double bar line. So in our palettes, we find bar lines and double click double bar, just to make it clear that that is the start of the music. We'll also need to move this tempo indication, control X for cut and control V for paste, so that it's in the right tempo from the beginning. Let's have a listen to what we've got.
That sounds pretty good. Now we can create the parts that we need in File Parts. I'll create all parts and then just delete the woodblocks part. And export as PDFs for all the different parts. We could equally print them, but I, I prefer to export as a PDF and not waste too much paper. Assuming people have tablets at home or something, a screen that they can play it on. Otherwise, we would have to print it out. And we can also export this as an MP3. And here I'll use the full score, and this will export the backing track that we need for all our performers. This will help performers stay in time and in pitch. You can even make different mixes for different performers using the mixer, that's F10. For instance, vocalists normally need to hear their own part louder than others. Pianists who don't need to tune their instrument in real time may only want to hear the drums or percussion parts to stay in time. As an example, I'll make a backing track particularly for the strings, so I'll keep the winds at a lower volume. And export an MP3 and again, the full score. We could even export individual parts, but then they wouldn't have the woodblocks metronome with them. And so I don't think that's so useful. Just keep it as a full score and adjust your mix as you need it. And MuseScore will slowly export that MP3. The performers can now listen to their mix on one device and record their part with another device. Since most households have at least two smartphones these days, that's not generally a problem. This can result in quite a mechanical reproduction, since the tempo never varies, and the performers have no feedback on the emotion or dynamic variance in a piece. To deal with this, we could record a video of a conductor. Now we need to synchronize the playback from MuseScore to the conductor. Unfortunately, there is currently no easy way to do this in MuseScore. You would need to export your project as a MIDI or Music XML file and import it into a digital audio workstation, which I've covered in tutorial 13. If you'd like me to make a video about the process of synchronizing to a video of a conductor, please leave a comment on this video and I'll make a plan to do that.